Hey friends, here at the Secret Base, we've got a new app called Wireless Audio AUV3. It's an app designed to send audio from point to point. And if you've been looking at audio apps and music making apps on iOS for a while, you know that this has been done, but there have been different standards. We started off with AudioBus a few years back, and then there was IAA. New one out now is AUV3, Audio Units from Apple. And the good thing is there are more ways to connect stuff together. Bad thing? Not everything talks to everything else. And that's what we're trying to do with this new app, is give you a new way to hopefully connect some of your old legacy stuff to new things and give you a little bit more freedom. It's an AUV3 plugin, and so you can connect a host to another host on the same device or on different devices. And in the next video, I'm gonna dive in, show you how it works. All right, so let's show you what you can do with wireless audio in AUM. This is a great mixer. Everybody should have a copy of this. It's from Karmatica, and it's really got support for nearly everything. What I've got loaded up here is a simple drum loop. And what I wanted to show is how you can use wireless audio to connect things together. Let me add in an audio extension. Goes down here, get wireless transmit. Transmit will send audio from one point to another. Turn on streaming, and now audio that comes out of this file player, but it could be an Android app audio, any sort of thing that AUM can connect to, get streamed out and sent across the internet. Go over here to another input, and I'm gonna keep this within AUM for a moment, just so you can see what's going on. And I'll put wireless receive in. Because this is all one device, I can tap connect local, and I've got a connection. So audio is going to come from the file player through transmit. Transmit's going to send it over to wireless receive, and what you're going to hear is the audio coming through. And you might say, I can do all this in AOM, and yes, absolutely. If you've got AOM and that's all you need, uh, you're good to go. But I'll show you a few things you can do uh, with this in a moment. But this is just for demonstration purposes. So audio is going to come through, let me hit play, audio is coming through this track. I can mute the first track, first track is done, and now audio is coming through straight through here. You might be wondering what's the latency, or if you're not, that's a good question and you should be asking it. Let me show you. Let me turn on stereo balance here, pan this guy all the way to the left. Another stereo balance here. Pan this all the way to the right. And if you've got headphones and you're listening to YouTube, you should hear a little bit of latency. It takes a little bit of time for the audio to come from the transmit over to the receiver, so you'll hear something. Let me bump up the left channel. right channel. You can probably hear just a little bit of latency, a little bit of delay. The wireless receive has a latency estimator and we can use this with some of the features of AUM where if you know roughly how long a signal is delayed, you can compensate for it and AUM does that. So I've turned on latency estimation and I'm going to play again. The, the raw file is, the signal is coming through the left and it's going to be transmitted with a little bit of latency to the right, but because we've got latency compensation, compensation, they're going to be perfectly synced. Check this out. Again, if you're just in AUM, uh, you can do all the routing you need to here, but let me show you what you can do with something else. Turn off the connection here, and let me pop over, and we're gonna start Loopy. All right, we've got Loopy going now. And I've got wireless receive on a track here. I can hit connect, and now I'm gonna be connected 
to AUM. So two different audio unit hosts talking to each other, sending audio from one to the other. Let me go back here to AUM. And I'll put this back on stereo. I'll shut this down. So we're going to send audio out of AUM. It's going to go over to Loopy. So the audio you're hearing now is Loopy. Let me quickly pop over here. So what we've done here is connected two A AUV3 hosts, AUM and Loopy, over a network connection just to send audio across. So if you've got any sort of legacy uh, app, you should be able to connect them together. AUM connects to nearly everything. Some of the new apps, some of the new DAWs, don't necessarily support some apps that you want. And so this is on the same device. Let me show you going to a different device. All right, so what I've shown you so far is on the same device, and if you've got IAA and AUV3 and AUM, you might be able to connect everything you want together, but I'm gonna show you something that wireless audio AUV3 does that can't do with the standard stuff. You say wireless audio, yeah, it goes over the internet. That's the whole point of this thing. So what I've got here, again, is AUM, got the little drum track loop going, can hit play, and I've got a second iPad, but no wires, wireless connection. I've got AUV3, wireless AUV3, I've got streaming enabled on this guy, and now I'm going to connect. They're both on the same Wi Fi router, wireless connected. So now audio is traveling from here over my router over to this guy. And let me hit play here. Audio just coming from this guy. Both. You've got the same latency tricks. Actually, let me let me hit this pause this guy. So same latency tricks, I can estimate, figure out roughly how, what the latency is, have AUM or whatever my DAW host is compensate for the latency, but it's fast enough that it should be able to play music, keep in time with things, get good sync, and no wires, nothing to worry about. So wireless audio AU3 V3, available in the App Store. The goal of the app is to let you connect potentially to legacy apps that don't support AUV3, maybe their old audio bus stuff, IAA. AUM is a great audio host, will be able to connect to nearly anything, and will let it connect to whatever DAW you want. And if you've got multiple audio devices, iPad, iPad, iPhone, you'll be able to connect them and send audio from one to the other with low latency and do all sorts of kinds of processing. Anyway, that's the app. It should be available in the App Store. Um, this is a YouTube video. I'm supposed to say like and subset. I'm not going to do that. But I am going to wrap it up. Check out the app. I think you're going to dig it. And uh, got more coming. Show you what we've got next.